The Reach Gateway service is a component of the Goverland Reach server software and enables the following features. On-demand access to devices that are off-network without the need for a VPN. The ability to manage any external device in the background using all of the Goverland console tools like reporting, software deployment, and patching. Internal devices that roam off-network like laptops will automatically register themselves to the Reach Gateway as well, providing seamless access to roaming devices regardless of their network location. Secondary gateways to enable centralized management of multiple sites that are off-network without the need of a VPN connection. Before configuring your Reach Gateway service, here are some important things that you will need to have. A static public IP address or public DNS that the Goverland agents will use to communicate back to the Reach Gateway. Access to the network firewall to create a port forward rule that will route all traffic to the Reach Gateway service. And optionally, a TLR certificate for increased security for all of your external device connections. Implementing a Reach Gateway is fairly simple. After installing the Goverland Reach server on a Windows 2008 R2 server or above, launch the Reach server console. Then, click the Reach Gateway service tab. This tab provides the status of your Reach Gateway service. As you can see here, the Reach server states that the service has not yet been configured. After clicking on the Configure This Service button, the Reach Gateway service settings will appear. There are three items a Reach Gateway service requires. The first, your organization's name. The second, an internal fully qualified domain name that will be auto-populated by the Reach server upon install and any port of your choosing. We enter 15155 as a default, but it is not required as these are the master settings that your Goverland agents and consoles will utilize. This internal facing address is how your Goverland agents confirm that they are on the internal network and are speaking to the correct Reach Gateway server. This port only needs to be exposed inbound to the server on your internal network. And finally, a public facing address and port. This address can be a public IP or public DNS that points to your network firewall. The port can be any port you choose. As stated before, these are the master settings that all Goverland agents and consoles will utilize. For those who are security conscious, you have the ability to secure your Reach Gateway service with a TLS certificate. This certificate must have the public DNS in the subject and must be publicly signed by one of the major certificate authorities. The server will then recommend port 443, though it is not required. After filling in your Reach Gateway settings, you can choose to disable the auto-registration of internal mobile devices that roam outside of your network. This feature is enabled by default to give you continuous unattended access to your mobile machines when they leave your network. If you choose to disable this feature, all machines that roam outside of your internal network will not auto-register to your Reach Gateway, and external devices are only manageable via an on-demand session. The setting above enables the automatic distribution of Reach Gateway settings to your Goverland consoles that will make them aware of the Reach Gateway services existing. Distance. After configuring all of the Reach Gateway service settings, we can now start the Reach Gateway service. After the Gateway service is started, various information on the status and use of your allowed Reach nodes will appear. Once the Goverland console detects the Reach Gateway service settings, the on-demand and external devices areas will appear. 